Shoot! Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. We're inside, again! Um, the great British weather doesn't know whether it wants to rain or not. Uh, I had got something planned today. Now, some of you have noticed a certain piece of clothing, not this one, that I've been wearing in a few pieces of my content recently. And that's what I was going to test out today. So that's going to have to be put on the side burner until, you know, it stops raining. But for now, instead, this is something that I've been testing out for a good while now, probably two, maybe three months, a little bit longer than I usually test while it's for. But there's been some other things that I've needed to, to review before then. But for today, we are here to look at the Fox C02 wallet. Now, Fox have some naming conventions around their wallets, um, which, you know, I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see the different types, but mainly it revolves around the different setups and different ways in which the wallets are configured, uh, where the leather and the band, which will make a little bit more sense when we look at this in a second. This was one that I noticed on Kickstart, whew, probably about six, seven months ago. It's something I've always wanted to try out one of these Fox wallets, and I thought, yeah, let's do it, let's take the plunge. Um, so this is the C02, I believe the C stands for complete. When you look at the literature that you get with it, um, it, it says it says complete on there. Um, but there are a few other versions or variants of this, which again, you know, I'll, I'll leave some uh, links in the description below. Um, yeah, so let's turn the camera around. Let's have a closer look at the C02 wallet. While I'm doing that, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this content at any point, you think, <laughs> That guy's all right. I think I'll, I'll, I'll like that then. Like, that'd be awesome. If at any point you think you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. You get to see future content when that comes live as well if you hit the bell notification. Cool, let's turn the camera around. Okay, so here's the wallet. Uh, this is this is how it arrives. You know, it's very subtle, minimal um, advertising. The wrap on it really literally is just a wrap with a sticker on the front here you can see it is completed which i guess might be the quality control process to say yep yeah, you know it's done we're happy for this to be shipped uh, made in germany on the inside here you can see it is the c02 advanced type um, series complete your bits more information in there as well and then it gives you a list of some of the features that are on here so you can put your cards in here you can put some coins in here you can put some cash in here and there's an nfc chip built into this as well which you know we'll we'll have a look at and that's it you know simple understated you know does what it needs to do you're not paying 20 percent extra purely because it arrives in a pewter box on a cushion i don't, I don't know what what would be like that but hey you know so as far as the construction is concerned the construction of this is very simple and very very well made so what you have here on the outside hopefully you'll be able to see this this is a single piece of leather and then onto the leather is um, an elastic strap the elastic on this is definitely high grade elastic if you're worried about this elastic you know, going over time. I mean, that's a worry with all sort of elastic, but you know, this is very, very strong. The type of mill spec um, elastic that I've found in a lot of items that I've reviewed in the past. The only other things that are built into this construction is you have a pull tab here, which allows you to get the cards out uh, a lot faster and a lot easier. And this is, I'm, I'm guessing this is a nylon uh, ribbon. Um, and then on here, you'll be able to see, hopefully, that there is another elastic strap. And that is so that when the leather is, or at least when the leather is wrapped around there and the wallet is closed as such, I guess, then it holds, it holds that flap into position. Now, I guess you could probably just have that over there if you wanted to, because, you know, when it's in your pocket, it's fairly rigid and it's not going to be flapping around so you could put things on the inside you know it's completely down to you it's your wallet you dance to the beat of your 
own drum that was really cheesy um, as far as dimensions are concerned what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to bring some cards in so um, these are the cards that I always use I carry between six to eight cards depending on the day I've found recently that I've been reducing my cards down quite a bit I'm carrying about six but that's mainly because of lockdown and you know there's certain cards that I'm just not using uh, so to put the cards in um, and the main reason I'm doing that is, you know, let's take out the eighth one. Let's put in all, let's put in seven so that you can see the size and the dimensions. You notice they do just pop out the bottom a little bit, depending on, you know, how far you want to push them in. Close that up. So if you want to know exactly how big this is, take a card out of the wallet or the purse that you currently have and you'll be able to see that it's rough, well I mean it's exactly the same size from top to bottom except for the width of um, a piece of elastic and then on either side you've got say three maybe four millimeters if that's probably about three actually and that's how big it is. Depending on how many cards that you've got in there will clearly depend on, on, the, on the depth of it. When there are no cards in there, it comes in at around about five millimeters. You put eight cards into it, it probably goes up. Oh, let's put those back in. We always struggle when you do something on camera. That's the joy of one of these videos. So um, uh, as far as the, the depth of it when you've got eight cards in, it's probably just over 10 millimeters. Um, and it's super simple. I mean, you need to get your cards. You can pull on this little tab. There is a little D ring on there, which I often find just kind of falls on the inside. That could maybe be a little bit longer. Um, but you know, it you know it, it works perfectly. You can get the cards that you want. You can put it back in. What I tend to find is the cards that I use the most, I'll keep on the front and I'll keep on the back so that, that you know they're always closest to hand. Uh, if I need one, you know, my main debit card and my driving license or ID here on the back. Um, and you know, that's it. It's nice and simple. Some of the other features that you've got on here, it, you know, I mentioned that you can hold coins in this. So on the back here, hopefully you'll be able to see on this stitching, the stitching that holds the elastic band um, in place, it's, it's a U shape. And that is because if you pull this off and peel that back, this pocket here on the back, which you know I've got my finger in, you can put coins, you can put maybe a spare key, if there is a, a key to a locker, maybe a safety deposit box that you use regularly, you can put that in there, if there are SD cards, you could also fit, I mean if I can fit my finger in there then you'll definitely be able to fit in a, um, a USB pen drive, you can put that in there, um, close it back up and what the elastic does as it goes across the top it pulls that into place to stop anything from falling out. Um, now normally at this point what I'd also do is is I'd do a shake test but it's incredibly difficult to shake test this because you have to hold on to this elastic for it to get out. But what I've found is when I've took this out of my pocket over testing over the last three months or so I've never found that you know all the cards are all over the place or any of them are falling out I think with the design of it when it's when it's in your pocket it just hugs those cards it moves round the leather the elastic it just kind of sways when you sit on it so when you sit on it and maybe your cards do kind of bulge or move slightly then when you stand back up again the elastic just tucks everything back into place. So I've never got it out and found that there are bits missing or bits are hanging out that shouldn't be hanging out. So that's the coin section on the back. Uh, you can also put your um, notes into here. European notes are perfect. Um, obviously, you know, being here in the UK, I've not tried any US notes. I believe US notes are slightly longer. What I have found though is that you still have to half fold your notes, um, mainly because this, uh, this strap that pulls these out, in fact, let's take this out, is on this back section here. So if you imagine that goes over there, that folds there like that. So if you try and put um, money in behind your cards 
then it will only go up to there. So what I've found is that you do ha you have to double fold it um, and then put your money into it, but put it here in the front and then fold it over and it, the, um, the, the leather bit on the top keeps it in place. It's very useful for that. Uh, in fact, in a pinch when you're trying to get money or you know you're at, you're at a till and somebody gives you some change and you've got some notes and you're trying to get it away quickly because there's people moaning behind you um it, it is very simple just to half fold it put it in close it and then you know you you pull the you pull the tab over and then you're away and you're gone it's great Another feature that is built into this that I probably haven't used as much, although I have set it up, is there is an NFC chip built into this. So if I undo this, you know, we've got some cards in there. Underneath this little Fox logo, you can feel it just about there. There is um, an NFC chip, although I might have said RFID a few times, so I apologize about that. Uh, there is an NFC chip in there, so you, you can put personal details onto that. If you hand out business cards, you can tap it on somebody's phone. In fact, if I was to turn my phone on now and place that onto there, you'll be able to see that all of my Morelander EDC information has come up here. There's my social media link, there's my YouTube address, and there's my email address if people want to email me. So that is quite handy that it's all built in as part of this. And as I say, you know, I, I, I haven't really used it properly. However, um, if I did, it's useful that it is there. What I thought would also be useful is if we just compare this to a few other wallets that I've reviewed recently. So one of the first ever minimalist wallets that I bought was the Ninja Wallet uh, from Aslim from London. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful wallet. Uh, but when you compare the size, this is a card holder. Um, it's just a little bit larger than it, similar to the Aslim wallet. And this, I mean, this has, this is straight off the press. This arrived today. This is another um, card slip or card holder style wallet that arrived today from 1095 leather. Um, really looking forward to start testing this out and there'll be some content on this in the future. It's a similar size to the Ninja. So you get a little bit of an overlap, whereas with these, they are a little bit slimmer, mainly because that, that it quite literally is you know, four very thin pieces of leather. Another one that I've reviewed is the Pioneer. Again, similar to these style wallets. This is the Molecule. Um, this is very thin, so you'll find that it is a little bit thinner than those, but if you're looking more of a footprint rather than the size of it, the um, C02, C02 wallet has a, has a smaller footprint. Probably the closest comparison size-wise to the C02 wallet would be the Atenu wallet. This again, you know, is something that I reviewed recently. There'll be links in the description below so you can see these. Um, but with the Atenu wallet, the Atenu wallet itself really is the size of a card when you put your card into there. Rather than this, you know, it's a, it's, it's a full metal aluminium build and this uses those more natural kind of materials. But when you put them on top of each other like that, hopefully I can get that lined up, you'll be able to see size wise, you know, they're pretty much identical. Now the last thing probably to point out with this is, you know, I've alluded to the fact that there are different configurations of this band and that is whether or not this is completely stitched. So, you know, it's just a leather bound elastic, whether it opens, there is one that it is triple fold so you can fold it and then it folds all the way around. So there are a few different configurations. Plus there are a few different types or colors of leather. This is the cognac version. The main reason that I went for this purely is that color. It's nice and light. So just like this table, after some time, you'll get some wear, a, a a word that's used a lot nowadays is patina, you know, it'll look, it'll age, it'll old. I like that the the the, the oil o o o oils from your hand will, you know, um, colour it over time. There is a brown one and there is also a black version um, depending on your carry. Now I always get to this point and I always ask myself, is there anything that I'd change about it? And I really don't think there is. 
I think as far as just that small capsule slim minimalist wallet it's great it really is great the build quality the leather when you get it I mean you can't help but just sniff leather even though it's been in my skyrocket for the last three months don't know what that was that fell over um, but you know it smells great the leather is nice and thick you've got that kind of raw bit to the back it's just a very very nice functional well-made German crafted EDC wallet and I definitely recommend it it's great it's really good so I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see more from Fox wallets and as I mentioned at the beginning of this you know there's different configurations and wraps around and way that the uh, the, 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 the 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 leather works with this um, so you know check them out and yeah I'll also leave some links for, the, for me in the description below as well. So if you want to follow me uh, on Instagram, check me out at morelander underscore EDC. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share. That would be awesome if you did all three of those. It certainly helps with the YouTube algorithm and gets YouTube to send more people my way to see my content, which is great. But for now, stay safe, stay Morelander, and stay EDC.